Hello everybody, it's Mike Patterson from Patterson Photography and First Choice Photo here in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to my studio. Well, as I mentioned before, I own and operate a studio and part of that studio is doing scanning and restoration work for customers as well as printing. Back in November of 2020, I started to notice that one of my scanners, I have four of them on different computers, but this one scanner specifically started to slow down. So I'm gonna tell you how I ended up speeding up my scanner. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Back in November of 2020, I was doing some scanning work for a customer and I noticed that one of my computers was scanning really slow. Well, let me correct that. The scanning was okay, but it was all the work that was being done to correct the scan files. And it was just going slower and slower and slower. Being November, I was a little bit busy, but I just didn't get back to that computer and that scanner for a little bit to actually check it out. So when I finally had a chance to check it out, it was in December and I was doing some more scanning and I noticed how slow it was going. So I just worked around it or I used the other scanners and I just sort of ignored that one. Well, now it's January and yesterday I was in the studio and I was doing some work for a client and I remembered oh yeah, this scanner was going pretty slow. And then I had some stuff to scan for my wife. And I thought, well, while I'm doing some scanning for my wife, I'm going to see if I can speed this up. Well, I got her scanning done and was unsuccessful in any way, shape or form from getting that to go any faster. And then I just forgot about it because then I got busy again. Later in the day, I was waiting for a client to come in. So I sat down and I took some just test prints that I keep around the studio and I put them on the scanner and I tried doing some scanning and it was as slow as it usually was. Now let me explain the slowness. When I went in and when I clicked on the preview, the preview came up pretty fast. When I clicked on scan, it started scanning pretty fast. I did not notice a lag time between the preview starting scanning and the scanning scanning and all of that sort of stuff. It seemed to be fine. The area that was the problem was whenever I did any work adjusting the images and that's where things got slow. This is the basic Epson scanning software. Now I've used different plugins and different features and different programs to scan through. But in order to test it, I decided what I would do is I would take it back to the very, very basic, the simplest I could do and which was using the Epson scan software. Now I went in and I hit the preview scan and the scanner did its little warm up thing and then it did its preview scan. Then as I said before, the preview scan was as quick as what it normally was. I then could go in and I could rotate the images. Now the rotating of the images was also just as quick as what it's always been. It was actually ridiculously fast. And I could go in and do all the work I wanted in this screen with no problem whatsoever. The issue was whenever I went over and did any adjustments whatsoever that it would not adjust at a reasonable rate of time. Even something as simple as clicking on color restoration. You would click on it and it would just wait and nothing would happen. And then finally something would happen and it would do its adjustment. Then you would click on something else like backlight correction and it would sit there and it would wait and it would wait and it would wait then it would do its adjustment. And that happened for everything. It was really bad when I did any level adjustments because I would click on the button and I would go to move it and it would just sit there 
and nothing would move. And then finally it would move and then nothing would move. And then finally it would move. And sometimes what would happen was I would move it all the way over. I would be done with it and it still hadn't done the adjustment. And it was slower than slow. And it was getting really frustrating. And no matter what I did to it, it was slow and it just would not work quickly. So with having some time to work on this project, I decided that I would do like most people do. And I went into Google and I did a Google search. Now, every time you do a Google search, it's always hit and miss. There's some good information and there's some bad information. The first thing that popped up on a number of the searches that I did or a number of the sites that I clicked on was make sure that your Windows firewall and that your uh, any antivirus firewalls are all set so to allow the Epson scanner to go through it. Well, I checked out all that and all that was fine. And most of these sites were talking about scanning very slowly and importing the images slowly. None of them mentioned the software itself being slow. It was always about the scanner being slow, the images being slow. So I checked a bunch of other stuff and some said to shut the computer down and to restart it. Some said do that several times. Some said to make sure that the scanner was off when you turned on the computer. Some said to make sure the scanner was on when you turned on the computer. I tried all the basic stuff, none of that worked. Some said to make sure that your USB drivers were up to date. So I checked that. Everything was fine. Some said that you need to uh, scan at a lower setting. Well, that doesn't really work for me because when a customer wants a 40 megabyte file, they get a 40 megabyte file. If they want a five gig file, they get a five gig file. I don't have the luxury of saying I'll just scan this lower. I need to scan it at the setting that my client wants. So that wouldn't work for me. So I went through and I did a whole bunch more checking and I shut down the computer and I turned the computer on. I did everything you could possibly imagine. And like so many software problems, nothing I did seemed to be addressing what I was finding. A little bit later in the afternoon, I had a client that was scheduled to come in. So I decided that I would get the computer back up and running, make sure everything was good for when the client came in, and then I would wait for the client. So that's what I did. In fact, when the client was coming in, I was reassembling the computer and the client picked up their stuff and away they went. And I went back to reading this and one of the posts said, make sure that you are plugged into a good USB port. So I pulled out the USB and I plugged it into a different port that I knew worked and I put a uh, got all that running and everything and nothing changed. I then sat down and I went through everything once again. I went through and made sure all my settings were correct. And because I run four of them, I can actually tell you the settings pretty much off the top of my head. I went through and I checked all to make sure that I wasn't, didn't have anything conflicting. I went to make sure that everything was shut off that was shut off. In fact, I shut off my antivirus. I shut off a bunch of other programs to make sure they weren't running. I made sure Dropbox wasn't uploading or downloading. I did everything you could possibly imagine. Then I went through and did the, well, what most people say is the last resort. And after reading somebody's post, it said, well, your scanning software probably needs to be reinstalled. So to reinstall, reinstall the scanning software. So that's what I did. I went through and I did a complete reinstall of the scanning software or as much as I could without going crazy. Um, I deinstalled it. I ran a cleaning program. I then shut the computer down, turned it back on, ran the cleaning program again, shut the computer down, turn it back on. You pretty much get the idea. Went through all of that, then I reinstalled the software. While I was reinstalling the software, I was on another site and I was reading all their stuff and it was pretty much everything the same. And there was nothing there that really told me how to speed this up. So when I installed it again, I went back, I did my scan again, and it was slower than slow. I was just about to give up for the day and I actually have two computers side by side. So when this one's doing scanning or when this one's doing whatever, I can look at this one. And over in this one here, I happen to have a window open, the window that the person was talking about how to install software. And I noticed something at the bottom of the window that they weren't even talking about, but it sort of popped up to me. 
and a bell went off. And I thought, I wonder, I have nothing else to lose. So what I did was I went in onto the program and I went to configuration. Under configuration, I checked the preview was where it was supposed to be, the color was where it was supposed to be, the film size was where it was supposed to be. Everything was where it was supposed to be. The last thing that I checked was under other, and all this was correct, except at the bottom, it says restore all settings to their default values. Now, all the settings were correct. I know all the settings were correct. I've checked the settings, I've checked the settings, I've checked the settings. I know everything is correct with that. But I thought, why not just for the fun of it, hit the reset all. It says, all settings will return to their default values and Epson scan will close. OK to continue. So I clicked on the OK button and it went through and it did its thing. It then restarted the Epson scan program, or I think I actually had to go in and restart the Epson scan program. And when I started the Epson scan program, everything looked as it did before. There was absolutely nothing that was different on the screen other than it had reset itself to the beginning. So I went through and set up what I was supposed to set up, took it to professional mode, which is the mode that I generally use. I then went in and I did my first scan. Now, as soon as I hit the preview button, I noticed that it went a little bit faster, not a lot faster, but it went a little bit faster. When I went through it and I clicked on, so that went to thumbnails, I then went through and I rotated the images and they rotated at exactly the same speed. There was no difference whatsoever for these, which to me was a little bit depressing. So then I went over and I decided, okay, I'm going to try one of these buttons. Let's try color restoration as the first one. So I clicked on color restoration and instantly it worked. And I sort of looked at it and went, hold on here. I then hit backlight correction and it worked. I went, whoa, that's unusual. So then I went to some a different one. And as I pulled my sliders across, they did it as I pulled them across. There was no delay whatsoever. And that was the fix. So what was the reason that this happened? Well, honestly, I, I just could not figure it out. I did some scanning. I played around with it everything and it worked really fast. So I shut it down and I was driving home last night and I started to think about when did it slow down? Well, in November, I had a client that brought me in about 500 slides to scan. And at the time I decided that I would scan them on this scanner up here because I can scan on that computer and I can work on this computer and I had a bunch of stuff going on and it worked out perfect right here. As I was scanning his slides, twice the slide program hiccuped. And what I mean by that is I was scanning away and the program shut down. I restarted it and it worked fine. Didn't think anything of it. I didn't know if maybe I had clicked on cancel or I had clicked on close or something like that, but I know that something had happened and it shut down. Didn't dawn on me until last night when I was driving home that quite possibly that what happened was, was that when I was scanning a slide, one of the files for some reason got corrupted. Whether it was me clicking on cancel, I honestly don't think I did, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I honestly think it was the computer program itself, this Epson scanning software or the scanning program I was currently using at that time that had a hiccup. I. I'm sure of it that probably what happened was a preference file or a temp file or something like that in the background ended up being corrupt. And once it was corrupt, it still stayed there, but the program had to go through it each time and that slowed it down. And I think yesterday by clicking on the reset all that it reset the preferences, but it also probably reset the temp file and all the other little things that we never see in the back of the program and took it back to the default. Side note on this. 
When I came in this morning, I had a print order to print. And again, I use this printer quite often to print. And I was, or this computer quite often to print to the printers. And I set up the order to print. And when I hit the print button, the printer instantly kicked in. And I was thinking to myself the other day, my printer seems to be slow receiving from this computer. It's an Epson printer. This is an Epson scanner. So I honestly think that there's probably was an Epson corrupt file somewhere in the background that was causing everything to go a little bit slower. That print job this morning ran at super fast speeds as well. Like there was a 10, eight and a half by 11 pages that was printed off and probably half the time, maybe a quarter of the time, what it was printing. And I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I thought it was just the that was it. When you're running three printers, you send a print job, you go to another printer, you go to another printer, you don't really notice the slowness. But this morning, it was super fast. So I'm almost positive that there was a corrupt file somewhere in there that was slowing it down. So now whenever I start up my next computers and my next scanners, I'm going to make sure I go in and hit the reset all button on them and make sure everything is set back to where it's supposed to be. Thank you for joining me. I ask if you like this video that you click on the like button down below. Click on the subscribe button and right next to it you'll see the bell button if you could click on that as well. Share this with your friends and let people know if they have a problem or if they have Epson scanners and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye bye now.